This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. Responding to air depletion is a basic skill in most introductory open water courses. In this skill, the instructor typically closes the student's tank valve. The student then breathes the breathing gas that exists in the regulator and in the hoses. When the student can no longer breathe, they are to give the instructor the out of air signal. There are a few videos on YouTube and the internet that indicate what actually happens when you breathe off of a almost empty tank in comparison to just the gas in the regulator and the hoses. These videos typically illustrate an individual breathing off of a regulator on land and indicating when it becomes difficult for them to breathe. In this video, we're going to take a slightly more sophisticated approach where we're going to look at the inhalation effort using a magnahelic. We're going to look at the digital pressure of the tank using a Shearwater Perdix, and we're going to look at the intermediate pressure in the regulator with a dial gauge. In this video, I'm using an AL80. So obviously, if you are using a high pressure 100, or if you are using a set of manifolded tanks, the time that it takes for the actual air depletion to occur uh, is going to be different. Similarly, the depth at which you are diving and inhaling the gas is also going to have a significant effect on the time that it takes to deplete the tank. So the important takeaway from this video is the relationship between the inhalation effort, the tank pressure, and the regulator intermediate pressure. I'm going to start the test with approximately 250 PSI in the AL80. The Shearwater Perdix provides gas pressure updates at approximately every five seconds. The inhalation process is not exactly the same as underwater as I am actually breathing through the magnahelic. The top number on the intermediate pressure gauge to the right of the Perdix is 150. As you can see from the gauge, the first stage is set at approximately 135 PSI. I'm going to jump the video uh, until the tank gets to uh, the intermediate pressure level. Uh, as nothing significant happens, uh, there is no change in um, any kind of breathing effort that I could notice uh, until the, um, that point. Some people believe that as the tank pressure approaches the intermediate pressure that the inhalation effort becomes uh, more difficult at that point. However, in this test, I did not notice any increase in breathing effort when the tank pressure approached intermediate pressure and was just below intermediate pressure. The intermediate pressure gauge actually continued to indicate the normal intermediate pressure even though the pressure from the tank sensor indicated that the tank pressure was lower than the intermediate pressure. If anyone has a plausible explanation to this, please provide that down in the comments. At first, I thought the intermediate pressure gauge uh, might be having some kind of problem, uh, might be inaccurate. But as uh, the video will indicate, uh, later on, when the tank becomes more depleted, the gauges actually match. As you can see at the surface, a significant amount of time uh, is uh, possible to breathe off of a tank that has gone past the intermediate pressure limit. Uh, again, um, if you are actually diving at depth, the amount of time uh, will be, of course, uh, much less as the air that you are breathing will be dependent upon the depth that you're at. So if you're diving at, say, 300 feet, uh, you're going to be consuming your gas 10 times faster than on the surface. And again, uh, whatever that time is, would also be dependent upon the volume of the tank or tanks uh, that you're utilizing. Mm -hmm. 
as you may or may not be able to see uh, due to the reflection on the magna helix, as the intermediate pressure and the tank pressure go down, the breathing effort becomes increasingly more difficult. Nothing much happening here, except that it is becoming slightly, increasingly more difficult to inhale. Even though the Perdix uh, transmitter pressure gauge, uh, the submersible pressure gauge, and the intermediate pressure gauge are all indicating zero, I was still able to get a uh, few more breaths off of the tank. At this point, I'm having to inhale very hard uh, to get any gas. At this point, we need to discuss a potentially very serious limitation to this test and also any test or demonstration that is conducted on the surface. Since this informal test, was conducted at the surface, it does not take into account any possible additional effects that might actually occur at depth. So viewers should take that into account when considering uh, the results from this informal test. I have uh, three takeaways from conducting this uh, informal experiment. The first is if you are reasonably aware of uh, your situation, that it is unlikely that you are going to run out of gas instantaneously. There should be some period of time uh, by which uh, it seems to be increasingly more difficult to breathe. The second takeaway is that if your tank pressure goes below your intermediate pressure for your first stage, uh, you will still be able to breathe and in fact you might not actually notice a difference in the breathing effort. And the third takeaway is even though your digital gauge or your analog submersible pressure gauge indicates that you have zero gas left, uh, it is entirely possible that you may still have another breath or two in your tank. This is likely due to mechanical and electronic limitations of transmitters and pressure gauges. Responsible diving requires that the diver monitor their gas pressure on a continuous basis and respond accordingly. However, sometimes situations uh, exist uh, in which uh, a diver uh, may actually approach uh, running out of gas. This is why most certification agencies require the air depletion exercise in uh, the entry level of water classes. However, in reality, uh, it is likely that you will have much more time uh, to respond to an out-of-gas uh, emergency when you are actually diving 
rather than just breathing off of the gas in your first stage and hoses when you do the air depletion exercise in your open water class. You should never ignore the increased breathing effort of your regulator. In that event, you should definitely investigate what's going on. We have heard anecdotal stories of where a gauge still indicated that there was 750 PSI and yet the tank was actually empty. Once back at the dock, it was determined that as this particular pressure gauge did go down into the lower range uh, that it would malfunction. However, uh, on a full tank, it would indicate the proper pressure. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. I hope this video was educational. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.